Hi, welcome back to Amazing Psychology. I'm Priya Verghese and today we'll be taking a look at the periods of prenatal development. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Stages of prenatal development and periods of prenatal development are both the same thing. This question has been asked several times in the question papers and you can see that on its own this question has been asked for 6 marks but in combination with other questions it has also been asked as a 10 mark question. Hey there, I'm on page 23 of the course book. Let's just quickly look at what periods of prenatal development are. So the prenatal period is typically 10 lunar months or 28 days because each moon phase lasts for 28 days and when you consider it in calendar months you can say it's nine calendar months long but however the time period varies from people it can range from 180 days to 334 days if you remember we just said that it's 10 lunar months so that means 280 days that's the normal if it goes above that the kid is supposed to be post mature and if it goes under then the child is considered premature but if you see the number of children who are born post mature are very minimal whereas the number of children who are born as premature kids are about three times those who are born as post mature kids now when you look at the prenatal de development periods divided into three important stages the first is a period of the zygote the period the second is the period of the embryo and the third is the period of the fetus let's just take a quick look at a picture here you can see the three different prenatal periods here the first which is between zero and two weeks is called the germinal period or the period of the zygote the second exists between three and eight weeks and it's called the embryonic period or the period of the embryo and the third is between nine weeks and the time till birth and that is called as the period of the fetus or the fetal period. Let's look at what happens during the period of the zygote. As I mentioned before, it starts from the time of fertilization till the end of the second week. And during this process, half of the person's genetic material comes from the father and half of the zygotes uh, genetic material comes from the mother the two of them fuse together in a process known as fertilization and the first cell that is formed after fertilization is called the zygote now the zygote has 46 chromosomes as I mentioned the zygote will be getting 23 chromosomes from the egg cell and 23 chromosomes from the sperm cell together when they fuse to form the zygote the combination of 23 and 23 gives you a total of 46 chromosomes. Now about two days after the fusion occurs and the zygote is formed, um, the zygote starts dividing into two cells and this is um, continues on dividing, it continues dividing and it forms a collection of divided cells. This is what normally happens during the period of the zygote picture on the left side you can see the sperms collecting around the egg and in the picture on the right side you can see one of the sperms many of them are trying to penetrate into the egg one manages to penetrate and the nucleus enters into the egg cell once the nucleus enters you can see that a zygote is formed and the fertilization occurs this is the zygote in day zero in the fallopian tube then uh, as you see the egg starts or the zygote starts traveling down the fallopian tube into the uterus and as it travels down it continues to divide during day one it reaches the two cell stage it then divides into four cells and then into the modular and then into an advanced modular containing several collection of cells until it becomes the blastocyst and enters into the uterus Implantation of the blastocyst into the uterus happens around days 7 and day 10. Alright, so now we are back at the period of the embryo which ends at the second week and goes on till the end of the second lunar month which is approximately 8 weeks. So the stage starts on the 15th day and it ends on the 8th week and by the end of the stage the embryo will be about 1.2 inches in length. 
During this time, what happens is there's lots of cells that are multiplying within the embryo, right? All of these cells start taking on different functions and this process is called tissue differentiation. Now this is the stage when the fetus is extremely susceptible to external damage from teratogens, which are factors which can cause mutations or defects, birth defects within the growing fetus. Some possible chances of um, infections or external damage are diseases like rubella or x-rays or external radiation or even pure, uh, poor nutrition. Now you can see what are the changes that take place during this period of time. You can see that the formation of the heart begins about three weeks and the brain and the spinal cord also slowly start forming and the beginnings of the gastrointestinal tract can also be seen around the third week period. Let's see what happens in the fourth and the fifth week. At this time, the embryo reaches about a quarter of an inch long and this is the time when the, big, uh, the vertebra starts to develop the lower jaw develops, the larynx or the voice box develops and the basics of the eye and the ear start developing. So obviously you would understand that if any sort of teratogenic influence or any external environmental influence occurs which can damage the baby, it will cause defects in maybe one or two of these factors like the vertebra, the lower jaw or the larynx or maybe all of them will show defects at that time. Now when we move to week six, the baby or the embryo would have grown to about half an inch and about one out of a thousand of an ounce. That's extremely small. But at this time, the heart is almost fully developed. And you can see that there's the formation of the nose, the jaw, the palate, and a little bit of the lung buds also start taking place over there. In the seventh week, the baby grows to about seven by eighth of an inch and is about one by thirtieth of an ounce in size. Um, in weight actually and the eyes move towards the front of the face the eyelids and the tongue slowly start to form but at this stage it's still not like quite clear whether it's a boy or a girl because the uh, genitalia have not formed yet by the eighth week the embryo reaches about one inch in size and becomes one by fifteenth of an ounce in weight and now slowly starts resembling a human being the facial features start developing you can see external ears developing and you can also see the beginning of the genitalia developing it is at this stage that the bones start forming and the muscles start contracting so this is the end of the embryonic stage at the eight week now we will be moving on to the period of the fetus if you follow the pregnancy of people around you or you've been pregnant yourself, you must have heard of the pregnancy period being divided into the first trimester, second trimester and the third trimester. What this means is a trimester is a collection of three months. So the first three months, second three months and the third three months all together forming a total of nine months. Now when you look at this carefully, you can see that the first trimester consists of the first three months in which the first two months actually go for the period of the zygote and the period of the embryo. It's from the second month onwards that the period of the fetus begins. So within the first trimester, you have the completion of the period of the zygote, the period of the embryo and the period of the fetus starts in the first trimester. Let's see what happens in the period of the fetus which is from the end of the second lunar month till the time of birth. Now, during this time, all the organs and structures which are found in a full term newborn baby are present and uh, the face and the fetal size is all well formed. The development happens between the weeks of nine to 12. Um, during the weeks of nine to 12, you will see that there's a growth of three inches in length and a total of one ounce in weight. At this stage, the eyelids will now close and will not open until the 28th week. But you can see the development of tooth buds for baby teeth happening and the genitalia are completely clear whether it's going to be a male or a female. In the weeks of 13 to 16, you will see that the uh, fetus grows to about 6 inches. That is, this is the beginning of the second trimester I just mentioned before, the second trimester 
uh, starts at week 13 and the child will be about six inches long at that time you will see fine hair developing on the head called lanugo and the fetus starts making small movements and certain reflex actions like sucking the heartbeat will be about 120 to 150 beats per minute and brain waves can also be detected at this time when we move on to week 17 to week 20 the fetus grows to about 8 inches you can see eyebrows and eyelashes appearing and nails will also appear on the feet and the fingers and uh, the mother can also feel the fetus moving around which is called quickening and the heartbeat can be heard with the help of a telescope then when we reach week 21 to 24 the fetus grows to about 11.2 inches and now weighs one pound and ten ounces you can see that all the eye components will be completely developed at this stage the footprints and the fingerprints will be formed at this stage and also certain startled reflexes what do you mean by startled reflexes quick reflexes which are automatically con um, controlled as in it's not done by a decision it's done as a reflex such as swallowing coughing and sucking at the end of the 28th week between 25 to 28 weeks the fetus grows to about 15 inches weighs about 2 pounds and 11 ounces and you can see rapid brain development at this stage the nervous system is also quite developed and the eyelids open and close a baby born at this time has a good chance of surviving but there might be complications then at uh, 29 to 32 weeks the baby grows to about 15 to 17 inches weighs about 4 pounds and 16 ounces there's rapid increase in the amount of body fat the fetus slowly starts storing its own iron calcium and phosphorus the bones are fully developed but they are still soft and the, the fetus starts regulating its body temperature partially and also um, the nervous system controls most of the body functions at this time then we reach about 33 to 36 weeks at this time the fetus grows to about 16 to 19 inches weighs about 5 pounds and 12 ounces to about 6 pounds and 12 ounces and a baby born at this time has a very high chance of survival even though it is not completed the entire pregnancy phase the final is 38 weeks where the baby will normally weigh between um, 7 to 8 pounds and will be about 19 to 21 inches long this is the time when the fetus is considered to be full term and um, it fills the entire uterus and uh, uh, the baby is about to be born. I have just added this picture to show you how the baby grows through the different um, stages. You can see that the first month is mentioned which is during the embryonic phase. By the time the second month is over and the third month starts we uh, move on to the fetal phase and the rest of what is shown here is the fetal phase you can see the baby slowly growing and developing the eyes and the legs and the hands and all the features are developing properly until when the baby is ready to be born it turns around on its own and has the head facing downward at the ninth month period i hope you enjoyed today's class and if you have any comments at all please do leave it in the comment section just leave me a hi or just tell me how you found the class and of course if you like the video please do like it um, and as well please uh, share it with your friends and bring them also to the classes so they can also benefit from it also please hit the subscribe button so um, you know you can keep getting notified of the videos that i make if there's anything you would like to tell me at all again please do leave me a comment and until the next video bye bye